Nazarenus. R inasimamia Rex. Rex is a king in Latin. Na hii ingine ya mwisho I inasimamia Yuda. Yuda. Jesus Nazarenus Lex Yuda. Kwa hivyo I and I Nikisema haya maneno ya maanisha hajitaki kusikia mtu ananiambia inili inili nikisema nini inili Sasa ikusikia ati inili nataka kusikia Yesus Nazarenus Lex Yuda Anaonekana hata yeye umetoka madhira madhira magi tho mbasi ndio eh naonekana hata yeye umesoma Yesus Nazarenus Lex Yuda Jesus of Nazareth King of the Jews na hayo maneno yaliweza kuwekwa hapa na mfalme ambaye alikuwa anaitwa na Pilate. Na Pilato wakati aliandika ikaleta shida sana. Kwa wale ambao walikuwa ni makuhani wakuu, wakaanza kusema wacha kuandika hivyo. Andika alikuwa anasema yeye ni mfalme wa Wayahudi. Wacha kusema yeye alikuwa sema alikuwa anajiita yeye ni mfalme wa Wayahudi. Pilato akakasirika akasema I cannot change. Siwezi kuta. Kile nimeandika nimeandika. What I have written I have written. Geographer, geographer. Sasa hiyo ni hiyo ni Hebrew. Greek. O geographer, geographer. What I have written I have written. So it is final. Na hayo maneno kila msalaba wa Yesu Kristo lazima uwe na haya maandishi. I N R I Jesus Nazarenus Rex Yuda Kama huu msalaba hauna haya maandishi basi unaweza kupatia confusion you can confuse us if it does not have this letter simply because Jesus Christ was crucified by other two thieves which Pilate never put these these letters Kwa hivyo Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mfalme wa Wayahudi wakati ambapo alikuwa msalabani kwa hivyo haya maneno ni yao yalifanya msalaba upatiwe heshima na heshima kuu it used to be a symbol of shame but now is a symbol of salvation tukipata msalaba kwa heshima tunainama tukienda kanisani tunainama tukipata msalaba kwa sababu ni heshima msalabani juu This was the last pulpit. Yesu Kristo alikuwa anahubiri mahubiri mengi sana. Alikuwa wakati mwingine anahubiria juu ya mlima, anatupatia the sermon on the mountain. Alikuwa wakati mwingine alikuwa anahubiri kwa prince sermon on the plain. Wakati mwingine alikuwa anahubiri akiwa amesimama juu ya boat just next to the to the valley to the rivers or even to the sea but the last and the last pulpit is when Jesus Christ was on the cross na ile sermon yake ambayo ilikuwa kubwa sana the big sermon it was on the cross when we proclaim the seven words on the cross which Jesus said the last last those are and that was the greatest sermon that Jesus Christ gave Mamuraka ya Yesu Kristo ya kuwa mfalme aliweza kuyashukuria wapi This was the podium of the swearing in of Jesus Christ to become a king Tumesema swearing in nikakumbuka Uh, your excellency you had invited me during your swearing in and i came very early even before you went to uh, for swearing in i've never told my christians that i was there but at least they... so i came very early and i also took breakfast and that is even today when you came i said yes did you tell you no akeria also on i know i knew a breakfast korea work also i'm happy So I was there and I witnessed wakati ambapo eh, watu na viongozi wanachukua hatamu za uongozi Yesu Kristo hatamu za uongozi aliweza kuzichukua akiwa juu ya msalaba Na ni wakati ambapo aliweza kutaja maneno 
Forgive them not, for they know not what they are doing. Wasamehe kwa sababu hawajui yote ambao wanayotenda. Wasamehe kwa sababu hawajui. Huyo msamaha ukanifikia mimi, msamaha ukakufikia wewe na sisi wote tukaweza kuokolewa. Na tuposa siku ya leo tunasema Yesu Kristu ni mfalme, na ni mfalme wa wafalme. Mwisho. Yesu Kristu ni mfalme wa wafalme. Meaning that Jesus Christ is the king of kings. And that is why we even the, the readers when they are taking they are swearing in to take oath of office. They always lift the Bible to say that I'm going to swear with the words of the king of the kings. Meaning that all our energy, all our authority should be drawn from the king of kings and is the word of God. Meaning that any authority, any constitution that does not acknowledge the supreme mercy of the almighty God, then it is devoid. Any work, ile kazi yote ambayo unaifanya, and you don't take time to go even before the armor in the house of God to ask God to give you energy. Just know that at a point, utafika mahali uchoke. And that is why I always happy when I see even leaders that every Sunday they make sure they go and ask the king of kings, how am I going to apply my leadership? How am I going to govern my people? Give me direction because you are the king of kings. Give me direction. And it is Jesus Christ who gives you insights on how you are going to carry out your work and your job. Kama ni familia, kama ni mzee wa boma, anakuja kanisani na anauliza mwenyezi mungu, nisaidie kwa boma yangu. My home is becoming so difficult. How do I handle my wife? Hmm? My wife is not easy to handle. I wish I knew, but because alikuja, na tumeka, vija tumeka, sasa ni vipi nita mshukua, sasa utakua nini, utakua vipi. You ask God. So whenever I do, whatever you do, please ask the king who reigns, king of kings, to reign for you. Jesus Christ was a humble and humble king. And that is why we drew a lot and a lot from Jesus Christ. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not find equality with God, but rather he, he humbled himself, he humbled himself even to a level of a slave. And because he was so lowly, he was later elevated. And because of that, all knees shall bow before him in heaven and in this world. So it is after you humble, then you are exalted. It is after you humble, then you are exalted. And that is, and we have a lot to talk about Jesus as the mighty king. May he lay in you, in your heart. May he lay in whatever you do. And be happy when you are cross and you have a cross to carry. There is nothing that will come in a silver platter. There is no Easter Monday without Good Friday. Jesus Christ became a king because of the suffering on the cross. So again, even for us, sometimes we have we pass through a lot of hardships. But these ones, they are there to make us hand and to make us victors. So whenever you encounter problems, please know they are there to harden you. And soon and very soon, then you are present and you find yourself that you rise and you emerge to be victorious. That is the encouragement that we have. Thank you.
ona ithe turatongoria niwe reke tuge athika o mundu arute wira wake kuringana na njira ile yagireire na nigetha tumuthirie atongoria aitu wira iria megututongoria ngaite wito ni turagucokeria ngatho mwathani ni undu wa gutumiria mbura tuhe mbura ya kimera mwathani na nigetha ciana ciaku ihote kuhona aithe tugitongorio na atongoria makaigua gati ari maratongoria ni maiganirite na ni mahunite twetega moko ine magungai ututongorie ututungatire na wikaranagie na ithe mahinda ine mothe thini wa bururi witu wa Kenya mwathani witu igwe Thank you. 